Thank you. Good morning. Um, we did this work uh, with a lot of cooperation, uh, like Ivo already told, and we are talking about fruit consumption. And first, I want to ask you: Do you know how much fruit do you eat? How much fruit do you eat? Because I'm talking later on in my presentation about uh, kilograms per year, per capita, per head of the population. And I uh, thought uh, a lot of people don't know how much kilogram they eat themselves. For example, if you eat um, five, six apples a week, you eat one kilo a week. So you need to eat every day, every working day, an apple, and then you eat one kilo a week. So 52 kilos a year. That's not enough. Because if you look at the uh, consumption data for different countries, you see um, a white line, and that's 91 kilogram per year. That's the amount people say it's good to eat fruit consumption. 91 kilograms per year, so about two apples a day or two things. And you see a challenge because many countries have an average consumption lower than what is uh, uh, approved. Um, now I'm talking about fresh fruit consumption. And this is, uh, these are data from different sources. So I'm, strictly speaking, I'm not allowed to, to put them uh, beside each other, but it gives a, uh, if it gives a good view. And that's also a problem we have in uh, our research, all those different data sources. Because I show you data from fresh fruit consumption, but they differ per country how they are collected. And there are a lot of data sources because most of the time FAO data are used, but these are apparent human consumption because they are based on the production of fruit in a country, uh, plus the uh, import of fruit, minus the export of fruit, minus the waste, and that would be what we consume with each other. And if you look, they say they don't include wine, but if you look at fresh, fruit, fresh grape consumption and compare them with FAO data, in some countries it's only 30% of the FAO consumption of grapes. Um, there are a lot of differences between data sources, fresh fell versus Eurofell. Fresh fell says about um, uh, fresh fruit consumption, but they are national data with national methodo methodologies, so they differ from each other. Uh, Eurofell tends to be lower than FAO, about 20% lower. And last but not least, you have panel data, but also panel data differ from each other because they sometimes they measure what you buying of for fruit, and sometimes they measure what you eat for fruit. They are different between those two. Well, all those differences um, we have uh, compared, and we have some uh, general trends for across Europe. Uh, if you look at the southern countries, and you saw at the first slide. Um, they, ha they tend to be uh, much more fruit eaters than in other northern countries. We have some countries with increasing fresh fruit consumption, like Spain. And remember, Spain was the one with the highest uh, fruit consumption, and they are still increasing in fruit consumption. We have decreasing Germany and Italy, and they were already below the, uh, the line and more or less stable uh, countries like Greece and the Netherlands and the United Kingdom. Poland uh, is something different because they have an increasing consumption in processed fruit. And you will see later on, processed fruits are very important for uh, Poland. More than in the other countries we, um, uh, we did our research. And uh, last but not least, we look at regional differences because are the differences between rural, rural and urban uh, population, between young and old, between uh, well, 
uh, regions in the country. Well, there are differences, but these are smaller than the differences between countries. So we didn't uh, look at them any further. Trends of fruit consumption. You can imagine there are a lot of trends. And I uh, put down some of them in this slide. But which are the most important ones? And which have the most influence on the fruit consumption? That is why we um, interviewed uh, experts on consumption in four countries. Uh, we did it in Sp Poland, Spain, Greece and the Netherlands. So all corners of Europe. And we did not ask only experts from inside fruit industry, so experts only working in fruit, but we asked also experts from outside fruit industry. Experts who were not involved in fruit industry, and sometimes you see also difference what they say again uh, with compared with the inside fruit experts. We asked those experts to um, identify trend effect, uh, trend factors, uh, both of the past and trend factors important for the future fruit consumption. Uh, we asked them to mention five of them and we asked how much impact on consumption will those uh, trend factors have and uh, when, now or in five years time or ten years time, tell us uh, more about it. And last but not least, we asked them um, uh, to, to think about scenarios, because uh, if fruit consumption is tending to increase, what can industry do to increase it any further, to let it come true? 